Hello everybody and Lavadiana once again from, from Smalaninke. So I've been lucky enough to get back out here because well I live by myself in Kaunas at the moment and I don't know how many countries have this but in the UK anyway they do as well there's a kind of bubble thing for if you live by yourself so I've been allowed to come out to Smalaninke I'm just staying here for a few days with my fiance's family and well, I thought I'd take this opportunity to, I suppose, when, well, tell you about why you should make Lithuania your, your top travel destination. Now, obviously a lot of this is dependent on, hopefully, the COVID restrictions kind of lessening a bit in the, in, in the, in the year to come. But as long as travel is possible, then this is why I guess I'm saying you should come to Lithuania this this year. And I'm joined by my my friend, the trusty guard dog Bella, who's uh, who's accompanying me. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, let's let's begin. So the first reason that you should make Lithuania your top travel destination is it's fairly simple. I mean, it's the cost. Lithuania is really reasonably priced for for many items i mean the the cost of accommodation for an airbnb is very very reasonable you could i don't know necessarily about the summer time but kind of normally throughout the year it'd be well possible to find something for kind of i don't know 20 euros a, a night for a decent airbnb kind of apartment it's also cheap with with food you could you can easily have a decent meal in probably Vilnius, Kaunas, wherever you want to go for you know five or six euros really. It would be it would be more than possible to do that. So if you want to travel on a bit of a budget, you don't have tons of money, well I recommend Lithuania. And if you do have lots of money, well you can you can spend it even more wisely. So if you look at a map you'll see that Lithuania is pretty well located and being kind of in central Europe, it's actually very easy to get to from most European countries. Really, from wherever you go, you could fly here within three hours, really. Um, a flight from the UK would be, would be within that time. Obviously, at the moment, I know that there's no um, sort of flights really regularly happening, but generally, it's not going to take you very long to, to actually fly to Lithuania. So Lithuania is obviously a relatively small country. And that's a good thing in my opinion, because it means you can see plenty of different things whilst you're here. So you have, obviously on the west, you have the beaches of like Palanga, which, uh, which are really nice. It wouldn't take you ages to to get all the way to pretty much the other side of the country to to Vilnius. So you could spend a week or two here. It really wouldn't take you very long to travel to lots of different destinations. And yeah, you could see plenty of different things. So there's no real I suppose, tourist traps in, in Lithuania because it's not a place that is kind of high on the list of a lot of people for some reason. Really, you've got Palanga, which, okay, in the summer will be busy, but it'll be mainly Lithuanians that are going there. You've obviously got somewhere like the Hill of Crosses, but it's, again, I, I don't think it's going to be mega busy if you visit it even in the, the peak tourist season. And whilst, I suppose, Vilnius is, is a quite sought-after city to visit, it's not, it's not anything close to... I suppose a tourist trap like Rome would be, or I don't know, Paris or something. It's not going to be that busy, which is nice. You can actually enjoy the place. It's not packed and rammed full of people. So the fact that there are fewer tourists who do pick destinations in Lithuania is a real positive for you if you wanted to, to come here. Lithuania actually has some of the fastest internet speeds in the world. And I suppose if you're a solo traveler, you might be moving around or something, maybe you'd like to make videos as well. Well, that's obviously really useful. And the speeds are, 
I believe they're, they might even be the fastest in the world. They're maybe second to South Korea for kind of upload speeds, but it's really top, like really quick speeds across the country. So you're never gonna have a problem connecting to the internet. You might be concerned, especially if you're from somewhere like the UK or even uh, wherever, in any country in Europe, that obviously how are you gonna to speak to people in Lithuania? Because if you don't speak Lithuanian, how, do you, how are you gonna learn Lithuanian? Well, personally, um, this, I've found that there's so many people, especially young people here, that have a really good level of English. English is kind of like a second language um, in Lithuania. So as long as you have got a basic level of English from wherever you are in Europe and obviously from the UK, well, it's going to be great because there's plenty of people here. You're never going to struggle to find someone that speaks English. Of course, there might be people that, that don't speak English, especially maybe the older generation, but there will be someone who can speak a decent enough level of English wherever you go. So you're never going to really have a, a proper language barrier in Lithuania. And finally, I suppose I'd say the weather is also another reason why you should come to Lithuania. So generally the weather's pretty consistent. It's not like where I'm from in the UK where personally I've experienced that it's quite hard to plan a summer sometimes because the weather does chop and change quite a lot. In Lithuania it feels a lot more consistent. Now I'm so that's just based on my personal experiences. Um, but yeah, I, I do feel that the weather here is a lot more consistent. And also talking about the weather, obviously, yeah, this is a, a sort of more northern European country. So in the summer, the temperatures are quite pleasant. Now, that might not be for everyone's taste. A lot of people like to really get away in the sort of scorching hot sun of, of Spain or I don't know, some, some even hotter, but if you're someone that wants a, a fairly pleasant but also warm, you know, um, temperature in the summer, anyway, I'd recommend Lithuania. And, you know, in the winter, well, if you do like the snow, then here you go. I think this probably speaks for itself. <laughs> so I hope you've, you've enjoyed watching this video anyway. I love Lithuania. I've come here so many so many times in the last two or three years and obviously I live here now. I couldn't recommend it highly enough for for travel destination. There's so many different things that actually you might not have heard about and yeah just once travel and hopefully Covid has settled down and travel is looking a bit better then make sure you come visit it never costs that much really for a flight it's you know before covid anyway you could get flights here with ryanair and whiz air for kind of like you know like 20 pounds it really wasn't a lot and when you factor in all the other costs um, of coming here even if you just want to experience for a few days and see ah, oh, well you know what do i think well it's it's pretty easy from anywhere in europe so anyway i've discussed most of these these thoughts and opinions on why it should be the top, your top travel destination for 2021. And I hope to, to see you out here.